So now let me start the big data analytics tools and technologies, right? So as I told that that um, the big data analytics tools and technologies, Hadoop is uh, plays very very important role in case of the the big data analytics because we interchangeably we call them use the word big data or the Hadoop interchangeably because uh, this Hadoop is the core of many today's big data implementations. Though it's uh, true that Hadoop is that core of many today's big data implementation, it's not the only piece of the puzzle. Big data analytics can consist of many different software pieces that together collect, store, manipulate, analyze all different data types. It helps to better understand the landscape by defining what big data is and what it is not. Generally, the industry looks to the three V's to categorize in the big data. The three V's are one is a velocity, another one is variety, and third is the volume. So this velocity, variety, volume, the characteristics of big data can be defined by the sources and the types of the data, right? So let me study what is this velocity, variety, and volume refers to. First one is velocity refers to how quickly data is being collected and it is analyzed. Hadoop distributed file system is designed to ingest and process the data very quickly. And these smart objects which are connected to the IoT devices generate machine and sensor data at a very fast rate within a gig within a fraction of seconds they are able to produce gigabytes of data and they require database or file system capable of equally fast ingest functions and when you take a variety this variety refers to different types of data variety the name itself says that different types of data you can see data categorized as structured data, semi-structured data, and unstructured data. Different database technologies may only be capable of accepting one of these types. Hadoop is able to collect, uh, store all three types of data, that is a structured, semi-structured, and the unstructured data. Okay. This can be beneficial when combining machine data from IoT devices that is very structured in nature with data from other sources such as social media or multimedia that is unstructured. Okay, because social media you can see the data will be in the different formats, right? What are the different formats? The data will be in the text format. Some data will be in the speech format. Some data will be in the form of video, right? And some will be in the form of a pictures, right? Photos, images. Then when you take a volume, the name itself is refers. The volume refers to the scale of the data. The volume refers to the scale of the data. We are going to say we say voluminous data. So voluminous data means what? We are going to measure that data in the, the large way, right? So we call that is a voluminous data. Typically, this is measured from gigabytes on a very low end to petabytes on a, even exabytes. Peta means 5 gigabytes. So exa means 6 gigabytes. Okay. Data on the other extreme. Generally, big data implementation scale behind what is available on locally attached storage disk on a single node. 
it is common to see clusters of servers that consist of dozens hundreds or even thousands of nodes for some large deployments the characteristics of big data can be defined by the sources and types of data first is machine data which is going to be generated by iot devices and typically it is a unstructured data as i told that second is a transactional data which is from sources that produce data from different transactions on these systems and have high volume and that data is a structured data okay third is a social data source which typically high volume and it is a structured fourth is a enterprises data which is a data that is lower in volume and very structured hence big data consists of data from all these different sources an additional point to consider while we are reviewing the data source is the amount of data ingested from each source which determines the data storage layer design you should also consider the mechanism to get the data from the ingest systems namely push or pull the type of the data source database it may be in the form of a file or it may be in the form of a web service or it is a stream okay also needs to be considered as it determines the structure of the data so the characteristics of this big data is defined by the sources and types of data so iot devices is typically unstructured data right high volume structured data social data sources high volume and structured enterprises data is lower in volume and very structured hence this data ingest is a layer that connects data sources to storage it's a layer that the pre process validates extracts and store data temporarily for further processing there are several patterns to consider for data ingest first is a multi source ingestion which connects multiple data source to ingest systems okay then in this pattern multi source ingestion nodes receive stream of data from multiple sources and they do the processing before passing the data to intermediate nodes and to final store date nodes this pattern is typically implemented in a batch system and less often due to day of data availability in real time systems data collection and analysis are not new concept in the industries that help define iot industrial verticals have long depended on the ability to get collect and record data from various process in order to record the trends and track performance and their quality if you take for example many industrial automation and control system feed the data into two distinct data types one is the rdbms that is a relational databases the other one is a historians this rdbms relational databases such as oracle and microsoft sql are good for transactional and the process data their benefit is being able to analyze complex data relationship on data that arise over a period of time on the other hand what we can define is historians are optimized for some time series data from systems and process the built with the speed of storage and retrieval of data at their core 
recording each data in a series with the pertinent pertinent information about the system that is going to be being logged this data may consist of a sensor reading the quantity of a material a temperature reading or a flow of the data relational databases and historians are mature technologies because they are we are started using those technologies for a fast okay in the early stages of the database management itself that have been with us for many years that as i told but new technologies and techniques in the data management market have opened up new possibilities for sensor and machine data these database technologies broadly fit into few categories that each have strengths and potential drawbacks when used in an iot context the three most popular of these categories are mpp nosql and the hadoop okay so that is the mpps massively parallel processing systems no sql and the hadoop so these three important uh, popular categories of uh, on this are so when you will take uh, mpp that is a massively parallel processing databases when you take this enterprises have used this hadoopms for storing structure data in the form of a table like a rows and columns rows and column style data types for a decades right and hadoopms are often grouped into a broad data storage category called data warehouses though they are the center piece of most data architecture they are often used for longer term achieving data queries that can often take minutes or hours an example of this would be asking for all the items produced in the past year and had particular specification depending on the number of items in the database and the complexity of the question being asked the response could be slow to return this massively parallel processing databases that is mpps were built on the concept of the relational database because because uh concept relational data warehouse but are designed to be the much faster to be efficient and to support reduced query items reduced query times to accomplish this the massively parallel processing databases take advantage of multiple nodes designed in a scale out architecture such that both data and processing are described across multiple systems this mpps it is a massively parallel processing are sometimes referred as analytic database because they are designed to allow for fast query processing and often have built in analytic functions as the name implies these database types process massive data sets in parallel across many processors and nodes in massively parallel processing architecture typically contains a single master node that is going to be responsible for the coordination of all the data storage and processing across the across the clusters it operates in a shared nothing fashion that is going to be with each node and which contains the local processing and it contains the memory storage and operating independently this data storage is optimized across optimized across the nodes in a structured 
very language like for uh, like format the other telos data analysts to work with the data using common sql tools and applications the earlier example of a complex sql query could be distributed and optimized resulting in a significantly faster response because data stored on the mpp must still confirm to this relational structure it may not be the only the database type used in an iot implementation the sources and types of data may vary requiring the database that is more flexible than relational databases which are going to allow see here the diagram mpp shared nothing architecture we have the master host and we have the standby host so that is master host is a you can see the diagram here the master host if it fails there is a standby master if uh, something goes wrong with this master host the standby host will take care of that okay and it is going to take uh, preventive measures and we have node 1 node 2 up to node n n number of nodes will be there okay where your uh, contains single master node that is responsible for the coordination of all the data storage and processing across the cluster it operates in a shared nothing fashion with each node containing local processing memory and storage operational ind operating independently right the earlier example of a complex sql query could be distributed and optimized resulting in a significantly faster response because data stored on mpps must still conform to this relational structure it may not be the only database type used in an iot implementation the sources and types of data may vary requiring a database that is more flexible than relational databases allow okay that they are going to allow so so next topic is the no sql databases this no sql the name itself is not only sql it is a class of database class of databases that support semi structured and unstructured data in addition to the structured data handled by data warehouses and massively parallel processing no sql is not specific database technology rather it is an umbrella term that encompasses several different types of databases including the document stores key value stores white column stores graph stores okay so document stores is all about the database stores and semi structured data such as xml or json document stores generally have query engines and indexing features that allow for many optimized queries okay and this type of database store is a that is a semi structured database as i told and when you come to the key value stores this is a database stores associative arrays where a key is paired with a uh, an associated value these databases are very easy to build and easy to scale so next is a wide column store this type of database store similar to a key value store but the formatting of the values can vary from row to row even in the same table 
when you come to the graph stores this type of database is organized based on the relationships between the elements graph stores are commonly used for social media or natural language processing where the connections between the data are very relevant okay so these databases are easy to build be easy to scale okay Uh, then no sql was developed to support the high velocity urgent database requirement of modern web applications that typically do not require much repeated use the original intent was to quickly ingest rapidly changing server logs and uh, click stream data generated by web scale applications that did not neatly fit into the rows and columns required by the relational database similar to other data stores like mpps and adobe no sql is built to scale horizontally allowing the database to span multiple host and can even a distributed graphically geographically distributed geographically when you are going to expand the no sql database to other nodes is similar to the expansion of other distributed data systems where additional nodes where additional nodes will have the additional nodes will have the are managed by the master node or the process this expansion can be automated by some no sql implementations or can be provisioned manually this level of flexibility makes no sql a good candidate for holding machine and sensor data associated with the smart objects so on when you are going to take on the database types that fit under no sql category key value stores and document stores tend to be the best fit for what is consider iot data key value store is a technology that provides the foundation and for many of the today rdbms such as ms sql oracle and db2 however unlike traditional rdbms key value stores on no sql are not limited to a single monolithic system no sql key value stores are capable of handling indexing and persistence simultaneously at a high rate this makes it a great choice for time series data sets which record a value at a given interval of time such as temperature or pressure reading from the sensor by allowing the database many no sql database provide additional capabilities such as being able to query and analyze the data within the data base itself and eliminating the need to move the process it elsewhere they also provide variety of ways they also provide variety of ways to query the database through an api making it easy to integrate them with other data management applications and this by allowing the database scheme to change quickly this no sql document database tend to be more flexible than key value store database and semi structured or unstructured data that does not neatly fit into rows and columns can share the same database with organized time series data unstructured data can take many forms two examples are a photograph of a finished good or manufacturing line used for question and answer and a maintenance report from a piece of document 
This is all about the no SQL. Next is Hadoop. Is the most recent uh, entertainment into a data management market, but it is arguably most popular choice as a data repository and processing engine. Hadoop was originally developed as a result of projects at Google and Yahoo and original intent for Hadoop was the index millions of websites and quickly return search results to open source search engines. Initially, the project has two key elements. One is Hadoop distributed file system. We call it as a HDFS. Another one is a MapReduce. 